Obstruction of a prosthetic wall by a non-infective thrombus is what we mean by prosthetic wall thrombosis. Size of the thrombus is important in deciding the management. Pathophysiology of prosthetic wall thrombosis 1. Endothelial factors Suture zone endothelialization occurs in 3 to 4 weeks. Risk of thrombosis is higher prior to endothelialization if anticoagulation is suboptimal. 2. Hemodynamic factors Localized region of turbulent flow causes endothelial trauma and damage to blood cells releasing adenosine diphosphate which promote platelet aggregation. 3. Coagulation factors Predisposing factors for prosthetic wall thrombosis Insufficient anticoagulation Mitral or tricuspid position Hypercoagulable state Presence of associated atrial thrombus Panis can occur along with the thrombus as well Bioprosthetic heart walls are at risk of thrombosis in the initial period after implantation till they get endothelialized Mechanical prosthetic heart walls have a lifelong risk of prosthetic wall thrombosis and thromboembolism and hence need lifelong anticoagulation. Tricuspid prosthetic valve is more prone for thrombosis due to the low velocity of blood flow. Mitral valve has higher risk than arctic valve because of the lower blood flow velocity across it. Clinical presentations 1. Clinically silent prosthetic valve thrombosis 2. Prosthetic wall thrombosis with embolic episodes like cerebral, coronary or peripheral embolism can occur in up to 25% of cases. 3. Hemodynamic problem with evidence of wall thrombosis. Prosthetic wall thrombosis can present with fever in the setting of infective endocarditis. Fever can occur in prosthetic wall thrombosis even without endocarditis. Diagnosis of prosthetic wall thrombosis. High resolution sound spectrograph can detect wall thrombosis by the change in wall sounds. This is probably similar to suspicion of thrombosis when audible wall sound intensity decreases clinically. Patients are routinely instructed to listen for the wall sounds in a quiet room and report back if there is a decrease in intensity. Cine fluoroscopy is useful as it can detect decreased leaflet and poppet movement as well as abnormal movement of the wall cage. Short video clipping follows describing bileaflet prosthetic mitral valve on fluoroscopy. Bileaflet prosthetic mitral valve and a left coronary angiogram in the background. The image shows the opening.